<coughs> so, pranam to all dear students. Today, we will discuss about straight lines of class 11th are in different uh, states. It is uh, intermediate one or uh, PUC, pre-university course one. So in the straight lines, today <clears throat> we are going to study some of the basic things about the straight lines. Now in this part, <clears throat> first the angle measurement Hope I think you can see this. If the angle is measured in anti-clockwise direction, if it is measured in anti-clockwise direction, then the, the measurement of angle is said to be positive or indirectly it's called as positive angle, we can say that. But if the angle is measured in clockwise direction, if it is in measured in clockwise direction, definitely it is called negative angle, that is negative direction. So usually what we indirectly we can think like this also. Straight eyesight, usually we take it as x-axis. Straight eyesight above is called a positive angle. Straight eyesight below is called a negative angle. So here clearly I've given this idea. It is a straight eyesight. The above straight line that is called, above the straight eyesight is called a positive angle and below the straight eyesight is called a negative angle. So in this case, also the measurement of angle is also said to be like this. So this is uh, once again here, straight eyesight, line of sight here. So this is called a line of sight here, straight eyesight. The line of sight above the line of sight is called positive angle. We can call this as a angle of elevation angle of elevation and the angle measured below the eyesight, below the line of straight eyesight is called angle of depression. Eyesight in the eyesight above is called positive angle. Eyesight below is called negative angle or angle of up means elevation, angle of elevation we call it as. And down means angle of depression. So these are simple basic things or you can use simple technique is uh, use the watch. So in the watch, it is anti-clockwise direction. If you are measuring in anti-clockwise direction, it is called a positive angle. If you are measuring the angle in, in the clockwise direction, that is called negative angle. We can go for it. <clears throat> so why this is uh, most important for us? Why this is very, very important for us to learn in the straight lines? So the first, before we're going to study the straight lines, we have to be perfect. It's called inclination. Inclination. So roughly I'll tell you, inclination is the angle. Just remember. Inclination of the angle, but this angle has got some restrictions. The angle should be within the interval 0 degrees to 180 degrees. So first of all, inclination is an angle. But uh, be cautious. This angle should be in the interval 0 degrees to 180 degrees. So here in this limit, just in this interval, you see that the angle 0 degrees is included, but angle 180 degrees is excluded. This you will get clear idea. You have got idea in the first topic itself. Intervals, open interval and closed interval, semi-open, semi-closed intervals. So this is the first thing is, wherever you use the word of inclination, 
see that this angle should never exceed this interval. Angle between this interval is known as inclination. Uh, now the definition is, so what is the inclination is? So here the inclination means how the inclination of the line can be defined. Uh, some, sometimes we can also call it as angle of inclination inclination of an angle. So again, I'm repeating, first, wherever the word inclination, if you are using, inclination is a first angle. In short form, you can remember, inclination is an angle, but always that should lie in the interval zero to 180. Here, 180 degrees is excluded and zero degree is included. Better for better idea, you have to study intervals in the basic algebra. You'll have to study the interval system. So, this is first important thing we should understand. Now, we'll try to understand this. Inclination proper, the clear definition of inclination is like this we draw x and y axis. We draw x and y axis here. <clears throat> we draw this, this is our x axis and y axis and uh, this is. You take a straight line, we'll take a straight line. Suppose this is the straight line we are taking. This is a straight line we take. So assume that this straight line is making an angle with the positive x-axis measured in positive direction. As I told you, from x-axis, if you go in anti-clockwise direction, that is called a positive direction. That is called a positive direction. But be careful, my dear children, my dear students. A line must make an angle with the positive x-axis that to be measured in positive direction. Suppose say, a line making an angle theta with the positive x-axis. And confirm that th this theta should be, if theta is belongs, if the theta belongs to the interval 0 to 180 degrees, then we can say that this angle theta is known as inclination of the line. This is known as inclination, inclination of the, of the line. Suppose say if you name this line is A and B, inclination of the line AB. First of all, so cut way, you can remember like this. Inclination is the, inclination is number one, angle made by the line, angle made by the line with the positive x-axis and measured in positive direction. It should be measured in. Not only that, and you have to confirm that the angle should be G, between 0 to 180 degrees. The angle should be 0 to 180. Then the angle between the positive x-axis and the line, whatever angle you see, whatever angle you see, this angle is known as inclination of the line. But line, remember, any, all angles are, we cannot call it as a inclination. Whatever angle you see, that is not inclination. Inclination means a line must make an angle with only positive x-axis. And the angle must be measured in positive direction. Positive direction means anti-clockwise, above x-axis. Above x-axis, angle should be measured in this direction. So that is called a positive direction, I told you. This is called positive direction. And not only the third condition is, the angle should, the angle should lie between, uh, the angle must present in the interval 0 to 180. Then whatever angle you see between x-axis and the line, whatever angle, you see between the x-axis and line, that angle is called inclination of the line. That angle is said to be inclination of the line. So now I hope I think you are clear in this what here. What is inclination? What is inclination now? Inclination is inclination. Inclination of the line. Inclination of the line definition you can define. Yes, if a line, if a line makes an angle, 
makes an angle theta but here clearly you write here theta belongs to theta belongs to 0 to 180 degrees where where this where theta belongs to if a line makes an angle theta with the positive x axis with the positive x axis positive x axis then then the angle theta the angle theta is known as is known as inclination of the line inclination inclination of the line so <clears throat> Because, dear students, to define, so now we'll go to next step now, look at. Now, why we have to study inclination? To define the slope of a line, we know that every line, remember this, every line has definitely some slope. So curves don't have the slopes, no slopes for the curves, no slopes for the curves. For the curves. So every line has a slope. A line has irrespect of, see this is, irrespect of length and length of the line. So every line has only one slope. Only one slope. Like if you, if there is a, this is earth and uh, earth to here it is a moon. If there is exists only one line, if earth to moon there exists only one line, definitely this line will have only one slope. Only one slope. Every line has only one slope, my dear children. But slope never depends on the length and size of the line. One line, like it's like a ceramic. Every man, every male will have only one surname till birth to death. So like that, every line has only one slope. And now only I'll tell you, slope of a line has no units. Slope has no units. Like for slope, for slope, you cannot write centimeters, meters, kilometers, kgs, liters. So there is no units for slope. Slope is simply a number. Slope is purely a real number. Slope is only just a real number. Real number. Like example, I'll tell you. Slope of a line 2. Slope of a line 1 by 2. Slope of a line 0. Slope of a line minus 1. Slope of a line 3. Like this. Slope has only number. Slope of any line doesn't have units. I hope I think you are understanding this concept clearly. Now, now we go for definition of slope of a line. So slope, the another name for slope is gradient, gradient. So usually slope is denoted by the letter M. Just remember it is small m and already clearly I've given this no units. For slope units does not exist, no units for slope. No units, but slope. So, the basic requirement to find out a slope of a line is we must have its inclination. Slope always depends on inclination of the line. That is the reason uh, we have clearly defined inclination of the line before studying the slope of the line. Dear students, look at now. Today, we'll define what is the slope of a line. Again. So first, again, we'll take, uh, this is the x-axis and y-axis. This is x-axis and y-axis. And this is where it is. Suppose we take a straight line. Assume that this is, a, we'll take out a straight line now. Here, suppose there is a straight line. Definitely. First, understand every line has some slope. So today we have to find out this line, no, this line slope. 
which line slope suppose i'll give the name better it is a b so this is a b a b line so we have to find out slope a b we have to find out slope a b but first thing that this line whose inclination is theta yes is it can theta is clearly inclination why because theta is the angle made by the line ab with the positive x axis in measured in positive direction definitely clearly visible this is in the in the interval 0 to uh, 0 to 180 degrees it is like it lies in the interval 0 to 180 degrees therefore theta is known as inclination inclination of the line inclination of line ab inclination of line ab so dear students and now it is confirmed a line ab has inclination theta so ab line slope you want means slope always definition is put tan of the inclination of the line whichever line slope you want put tan and that line inclination so ab line we are searching for slope of ab therefore tan theta simply slope definition is tan of inclination of that line tan of inclination tan of inclination so slope is always denoted by m therefore m is equal to tan theta dear students to find out slope of any line just put tangent of the inclination of that line whichever line slope you are searching suppose you are finding ab line slope so tan of inclination of line ab inclination means once again what it is angle of the line with the positive x axis measured in positive direction and lies between 0 to 180 degrees lies in the interval closed interval 0 and open interval 180 degrees that is called so simply sir why again i am going to give you one basic idea towards this basic idea towards this one is uh, look at here so we have just drawn this uh, shape it is like horizontal and vertical you know this is called slope now try to understand this is this is the this the slope means this is the right this is called slope right so the green ink which i am showing this is but you know slope of anything depends on opposite side and adjacent side slope always that means this slope depending on opposite and adjacent you are very much clear opposite and adjacent are definition of the trigonometric ratio tan since the slope is depends on opposite and adjacent therefore in the slope we use tan or cot whichever you want you can use apply this no problem tan or cot but first slope is opposite by cot is reciprocal you can take later on you can take therefore tan theta is called opposite by adjacent is called tan and don't take cot why because tan 30 cot 30 are different if the inclination is that is but sometimes after calculating tan theta you can take cot reciprocal after that so first you can calculate tan theta later on if you at all you want you can by using reciprocal formula you can calculate cot theta now i hope i think you are clear about the slope once again the slope of a line slope of a line depend on uh, slope of a line definitely without inclination slope of a line cannot be defined so already first in the first uh before discussing the slope we have, we have discussed about inclination suppose if a line having inclination theta then the slope of that line is just simply put tan of that inclination tan of inclination of the line is going to be called as slope you know suppose uh, if it is a uh, 30 degrees tan 30 1 by root 3 no units if it is 45 degrees tan 45 degree inclination is 45 degrees tan 45 it's one simply one if it is 60 degrees tan 60 root 3 simply slope is equal to slope of a line is root 3 so now the we write the definition of a slope now the definition of slope are gradient so the definition is as follows like this so definition of a definition of slope of a line slope or gradient slope of a line slopes so slope is usually denoted by m as we know that so how we can uh, define this simple definition first before uh, starting this definition now we'll go 
So this is the definition now. We are going to define. Uh, so consider this one is x-axis and this is y-axis and this is the origin. Suppose say if a line here, it is a line. Yeah. Suppose if a, uh, this is the line. Suppose you can, to avoid confusion because you are discussing things on online. Therefore we name this one is AB line. So, so we have to find out slope of AB, right? We have to find out slope of AB only. So that means uh, AB line whose inclination is theta, correct? Whose inclination is theta. Therefore, slope of a line is equal to tan theta. So if a line, if a line whose inclination is theta, whose inclination is theta, then tangent of that inclination tan theta is called tan theta is called slope of the line slope of the line slope of the line and and it is c and slope is denoted by slope of the line slope of the line is denoted by denoted by m and with and with no units. Yes. Just see that A B line. See whichever line slope you want, no? You want A B this line slope, right? This line slope. See, check it here. Once again, the diagram. You want this line slope. Tan of that line inclination. You put. Whichever line slope you want, tan of that line inclination. But inclination means once again you be very strong. You should be very good idea about inclination. It is inclination means angle between the angle between the line and versus positive x axis, and it should never exceed interval zero to one eighty. So this is theta should never exceed the, the theta must be in the interval zero to one eighty degrees. Then only the angle between the positive x axis and the line is known as inclination. Tan of that inclination because I just uh, given you clear idea that. Uh, Slope, anyway, uh, slope depends on opposite and adjacent. That is the reason. Opposite, see, opposite and adjacent cannot be used in sign, sign ratio cos. So therefore, tan uses only opposite and adjacent. That is the reason. To define slope of a line, we take tan theta. So this you can understand first. Now, uh, different shapes we'll discuss about now. About the slopes, also I will give you and remember, uh, whenever we discuss about uh, positive x-axis, this is where, once again, you understand this clearly. When we talk about, uh, when we talk about positive x-axis or any x-axis and y-axis, this x-axis and y-axis. So x-axis inclination is zero degrees. So x-axis inclination is zero degrees. Inclination is zero degrees. And y-axis inclination is uh, inclination is y-axis inclination is 90 degrees. Inclination is 90 degrees. Because from positive x-axis is making an angle 90 degrees. So whenever x so inclination of the this also we can rem remember for x-axis take inclination take inclination inclination is zero for y-axis for y-axis take inclination take inclination take inclination is 90 degrees but be aware tan 90 degrees is infinity otherwise it is called not defined not defined that should be your idea tan 90 degrees is infinity or not defined or some textbooks uh, some people will say that tan 90 is equal to tan 90 sin 90 by cos 90 sin 90 is 1 divided by cos 90 0 1 by 0 is called infinity otherwise it is also known as not defined 
They are children now. They are students. Let me go through with one more concept now. Look at here. Today, uh, we'll discuss about some slopes of different lines. Slopes of different lines we'll discuss here. Look at here. Suppose uh, one by one, small diagrams first. Uh, let me complete it now. Yeah, this is a uh, very small basic diagrams only I'll draw. X axis and Y axis, and this is origin. This is origin. Now, uh, if a line, uh, suppose say here, one by uh, starting from this, I'll uh, take a call now. Suppose this is the line. This is the line. Uh, we have to find out the slope of this line. Okay, every time to avoid confusion, I'll write this is the line is A and B. You have to find out the slope of line. Even remember, every line has only one slope, my dear students. Suppose this, if AB line is infinitely, it is extended both ends, even though there will not be any change in the slope. I told you in the beginning itself, if there exists only one line from Earth to Moon, definitely that will have only one slope. Suppose here, uh, you just suppose this line making uh, this line whose inclination is suppose uh, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, then what is the slope of this line? Slope is equal to you put tan and that line inclination is 30 degrees. So slope symbol is m that is equal to tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3. That means this line, AB line slope is 1 by root 3. Now, once again, you see this uh, one more example. Uh, if you keep on study what happens, slopes are always most important here to understand. Uh, here, uh, suppose see, there is the one more x axis and y axis, x axis and y axis. With this, clearly you can understand. Suppose there is a line, uh, once again, there is a line. Uh, think that whose inclination is uh, 45 degrees. So think that this inclination is just imagine that this is the this is the line and uh, its inclination is 45 degrees. Its inclination is 45 degrees. Then you want this line slope, right? This line slope is equal to put a tan and its inclination 45 degrees. That is equal slope symbol is m is equal to one. M is equal to one. And uh, similarly, here once again, now uh, what we can discuss here. One more, I'll uh, give you the basic example here. So this is again, uh, no need for you to write every time that is uh, positive x-axis and positive y-axis and uh, origin. Uh, suppose see if the line uh, here, uh, here, if the line is making an angle 60 degrees, if a line is making an angle 60 degrees with the, so this is the line, we have to find out its slope. Suppose its inclination is, its inclination is 60 degrees its inclination is 60 degrees, then definitely we know that the slope of this line is slope is equal to tan of that inclination of that line. So tan 30 is root three, slope is equal to root three. What you are observing, what you are observing from three angles I've taken, my dear students, 30 degrees I've taken, 45 degrees I've taken and 60 degrees. Definitely these are called acute angles, that means Inclinations are acute angles. If the inclinations are acute angles, we are going to get slopes are positive. Look here, there is no negative sign in the slope. Plus one by root three, plus one and plus root three. So this much you remember it. Whenever the inclination is acute angle, whenever the inclination is acute angle, then definitely the slope of that line is always positive. So this is, once again, we'll now uh, acute angles. This is immediately we try to define this definition. What is the note? Note. Slopes of lines, slopes of lines are slopes of lines are positive when their inclinations are acute angle. When their inclinations, inclinations are are acute angles, acute angles. Slopes you get always positive, why? Because I don't know, I, inclinations are 30, 45, 60. Uh, inclinations you have taken. So simply you can write here in this way. So inclinations, inclinations, and here slopes, 
slope. Inclination and slope. Slope is denoted by m. Inclination is denoted by theta. If the inclination is uh, 30 degrees, that is acute angle. The slope is 1 by root 3. If the inclination is 45 degrees, the slope is uh, 1. And if the inclination is 60 degrees, and the slope is root 3. Clearly see that this is 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees are acute angles. Plus 1 by root 3, plus 1, and plus root 3. So therefore, remember it. If the inclinations are acute angle, definitely slopes are positive. This is one thing we have to identify. Just again, finally, uh, before going to uh, go for next level in the discussion, uh, remember the slopes of a straight lines are most important to study complete idea about the straight lines. Now, uh, once again, now, there is one more important question we'll have to discuss now. Uh, here, look at it. Uh, first thing is, uh, today's concept is slope of even x-axis is also a straight line, my dear students. You know that x-axis is a straight line. But definitely, every line has some slope. Definitely, uh, x-axis also must have a slope now. Why? Because principle of the institution is head of the institution that is okay but we should have some name like that slope whatever it may be there x-axis is not any special category x-axis is a line that means it should have slope so that is today's uh, next concept is slope of slope of x-axis so dear students to define slope tan of inclination tan of Inclination I have given you. So tan of inclination I have given you people. So look at this once again. Here, this is x-axis and y-axis and zero. And here, we want slope of this line, right? Yeah, this is slope is equal to slope of x-axis. Tan of inclination. Inclination is zero. Tan zero is zero. So we know this is inclination of, uh, this is inclination of x-axis is zero inclination of x-axis is zero, zero degrees is zero degrees. So to define slope of any line, we put tan of that inclination. So therefore, m is equal to zero. So note down for x-axis, for x-axis, take m is equal to zero. That means slope is equal to zero. Now, for slope of y-axis uh, here, in the slope of y-axis, also we have to define. Uh, that is also because y-axis is also a line. So the heading is this way we can define slope of y-axis. Slope of y-axis. Slope of y-axis. So here, once again, I'll again uh, clearly we observe. Slope of, uh, we'll draw this. Y-axis is also a straight line. So y-axis is also a straight line. This is x-axis and y-axis and origin. But uh, y-axis inclination is what? From positive x-axis, no? Angle making from positive x-axis to the required line. This is 90 degrees. So this line, slope we want to find out. Slope of y-axis. Slope is equal to put a tan of that line inclination with the positive x-axis is 90 degrees. That is equal to slope is infinity are not defined. So slope of y-axis is not defined. Slope of y-axis is not at all defined. And dear students, clearly you see that here, the y-axis, we call it as perpendicular. Slope means it should have some cross. Cross lines are called slope, vertical line it is. Y-axis is a vertical line. Y-axis is indirectly vertical line. So just we, we, we never use the word for vertical line slope. For vertical line, we use the word perpendicular. So therefore, slope of y-axis is not defined. Slope of y-axis is not defined. Slope of y-axis is not defined. Not defined. Or you can take it as infinity. Also, we can take. So now, finally, uh, what we can study here, dear students, Acute angle, inclinations are acute angle, the slopes are always positive. 
and later on in a higher next part if you study trigonometry properly like uh, add sugar to coffee in the first quadrant all are positive second quadrant uh, sin and cosec are positive in third quadrant tan and cot, uh, cot are positive in fourth quadrant cos and sec are positive i hope i think uh, if you are studying this geometry before trigonometry uh, bit you will be having some problem about the quadrant system in the trigonometry if you have finished trigonometry before geometry so that easily you can understand uh, the values of the signs of uh, trigonometric ratio trigonometric function tan theta like positive and negative now uh, we'll just summarize the entire concept what we have discussed today is in this way we can go dear students look at here uh now we'll uh, make inclination of a line we'll take first here so here inclination inclination that is represented by theta and uh, next line we'll take slope of that line yeah so clearly we decide when the inclination is 0 degrees means x axis 0 degree means what x axis inclination is 0 then angle also slope also 0 if inclination is 30 degrees uh, slope is 1 by root 3 this you have to remember if the inclination is 45 degrees 45 degrees slope of that line is 1 so th this is the relation one should have if you know slope you must be able to you know, find out inclination also if the inclination is 60 degrees then the slope is equal to root 3 nowhere it is all are positive only all are positive and uh, if the inclination is 90 degrees that is y axis or any line parallel to y axis then definitely it is infinity or not defined clearly you see that 30 45 60 are acute angles then clearly you see that the all the slopes of those lines are positive so that already in the beginning itself i have given once again for your reference i'll write if if the inclinations inclinations if the inclinations of the lines of the lines are acute angles then their slopes are always their slopes are are always positive always positive so this is one thing but uh, finally again we just move on to next concept that also will define today okay so if the inclinations are acute if the inclinations are acute then the slopes are positive then very easy if the inclination is up to this angle of course inclination of the line we cannot cross 180 that means we cannot cross second quadrant we cannot cross we cannot go to because last limitation inclination has got some limitations up to 180 degrees up to 180 degrees means second degree, second quadrant and the trigonometry clearly we have studied tan is always a negative in the second quadrant that means from this we can come to know that if the inclinations are inclinations of lines are lines are obtuse angles obtuse angles then slopes are negative then slopes are slopes are negative why my dear students you see why it is obtuse angle means greater than 90 and less than 180 correct greater than 90 that is in the second quadrant first slope which one you are using tan always to define slope we are using tan but in the if the angle is in second quadrant we know that we know that astc rule astc rule in the second quadrant tan and cot are uh, tan and cot are negative therefore if the obtuse angle means definitely negative so we'll i'll uh, let me if you know the inclination 
if you know the inclination to find out slope what is the precision tan of the inclination tan of the inclination. so now i'll give the one basic example along with the diagram i uh, hope i think you can understand this look at it <clears throat> So here, uh, the general example, you can identify this general example. Look at here. So here, uh, find the slope of the line, slope of the line, whose, whose inclination is, inclination is, whose inclination is, 120 degrees. It is up to this angle. Clearly, we are observing this up to this. Sure, the slope of this line will be 120 degrees. Uh, negative. When you take inclination is up to this, it should be negative. So you can, how we can draw a small rough diagram, I'll show you now. Better, you just get a very good idea and the slope of this one is. So this is x-axis. And uh, y-axis and this is origin. Suppose now uh, line, inclination means what? Angle with the 